Hello, everyone. I'm back. Thank you very much for holding here. For remain. Hasta el video mío cambió, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I see only five participants. Hello. A ver, pongámosles en el chat que estamos de regreso. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That works. Okay. Yeah. We have to go back here. So we were talking about the bills and all those things, right? So let's see. Let me share here. There we go. For some reason this happened. Okay, it has to work now. It has to work. So let's see. We said the first one, it was Earn, right? There we go. Earn money. The second one, we said it was make some money, right? Good. Now, the third one. What about the third one? She. Uh huh. Inherit, but remember, it's a third person, right? Inherit. Money from her grandmother's fortune. Ok. Acordémonos que es tercera persona, entonces le tenemos que agregar letter S, right? She inherits money from her grandmother's fortune. Good. Number four. She finds. She finds. Great. Finds. Great. Finds, remember letter S because it's she, right? So number five. They borrow. Okay, they borrow money from the bank to buy a house. Okay, and number six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They spend, correct. They spend money only when they really need to, okay? So they don't waste, right? They don't waste the money. Let's see, number seven. Waste money buying non-essential. Okay, non-essentials are, are things that you don't really need, okay? Non-essentials are the products that you don't really need. They are not basic for your uh, surviving, right? <laughs> or for your everyday life, okay? In, in uh -huh. Yeah, you're right. You go for one little thing uh, to spend only $1, and then when you go out, you take $20, right? <laughs> Yeah, because you think, ah, yeah. it cost only one dollar. Oh, it cost uh, only one dollar. Okay, put it in the in the in the cart, right? And then you see how much is it? How much is the total? Oh my god, and you see thirty dollars. Oh what gosh. Did you say? <laughs> it's like, what did you say? 
<laughs> yeah, what did you say? Oh my God. I came only for um for one dollar, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then I take thirty dollars. Yeah, I spent it just like two sodas, right? Yeah, I was just taking two sodas and then you. <laughs> okay, guys, we have two more spaces here. Tenemos dos espacios más to write the verbs that we were missing. Okay, someone said lose, and the other was, mm, I don't remember exactly, right? Now. Exchange, okay. right? Exchange. Sorry, exchange. Okay, then, hagamos una oración para luz, okay? Usando ese verbo. Si es una tercera persona, le agregamos la letra S, okay? Sería luces, okay? For example, the company, yeah? Eh, sería luces. A ver, ¿alguien le pone un sujeto? ¿De quién podemos decir que pierde dinero? Ay. Okay, ay. Mm -hmm. Ahora, I okay, I lose. Uh -huh. Money. Okay. I lose money when? In the bus. Uh, okay, en este caso, este lose... Ok, sería. Mm, mm, mm. Sería como un juego de bingo, podría ser. Ok, yeah, good, good, good. And they bingo, ok. There you are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Uh, with exchange, un sujeto para empezar la oración. They. They. Mm -hmm. And exchange. Exchange. Come on. Exchange. Exchange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, dollar for Vicon. Okay. Said? Good. 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 Okay, it's like if they buy, right? If they buy big bitcoins, but it's okay. They exchange, exchange dollar for bitcoins. Okay, good. So now we know some vocabulary at this moment, but we are going to learn some things about work perks. Do you know what work perks mean? Déjenme ver si esta está vacía. Yeah. Here I'm going to write this. Porque en nuestro manual tenemos una conversacioncita, ok. Donde vamos a ver también how many and how much en acción, pero basado en esto, ok. War perks, war perks. This work perks means the job benefits, the job benefits okay what your company offers um beside the salary okay over your salary you receive some like gifts yeah they give you the that those benefits or those it could be money it could be may, maybe products from the company Maybe you can receive any other kind of commissions or bonuses, right? For for, film, for goals fulfillment, for example, those are job benefits. Legalmente, legally, the companies are um, obligated, uh, yeah, to to give you some benefits, okay? By law, by law. By law, we have, for example, is, right? Yes, that's a work benefit, yeah? but that's for by the law, 
por la ley, by the law, okay? We have also this other, que es previsión, ¿verdad? Yeah. What other work perk do we have? What other work perk do we have or do we receive in our jobs? Uh, podría ser aguinaldo. Okay, yeah. So that's an extra salary, yeah. There we are. 14 salaries, right, in this case, or the third one, the 13 one, right? Extra salary. There you are. Mm -hmm. Vacation. Okay, vacations. Eso sería paid vacations. Okay. Mm -hmm. Paid vacations. Algunos otros, maybe they pay for your education, okay? Un ahorro de cooperativa podría ser. Okay, savings. Uh, cooperativa, cooperativa, it's like, yeah, it's a cooperative too, right? But just let me find the thing here, the correct term, okay? Ese es un fondo, ¿verdad? Eh, las cooperativas son un fondo uh -huh. eh, social, por decir así, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero ah, el fondo social es otro, right? Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, like cooperative, cooperative. Yeah. Pero It's quiero true. encontrar como financial thing. Uh -huh. Tell me. Teacher, for example, subsidio on the lunch. Okay, they uh, they pay for your, um, that's feeding fee, okay? That's a feeding fee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me remember this thing. I change the thing here. It's upside I yeah. It's a benefit too, but it's like an advantage and those kind of things. So let's say like this, right? Uh, I'm going to say funds. Yeah, I don't remember the correct word. I will look it up, okay? Yo se las busco for tomorrow. And then, um, Uh, you said something about the feeding fee, fee right? Feeding, uh, we could say subsidy. Yeah. Let's see. Subsidy. Oi? Subsidy. Feeding subsidy. There you are. Mm -hmm. Did you hear how, how the automated dictionary said? Subsidy. subsidy, yeah, para el subsidio como me lo dijo tal la palabra, right, feeding subsidy, yeah, porque a algunos les dan el lunch, a otros les dan como el desayuno, right, it depends, it depends on the schedule you have, right, the schedule you have, so these are work perks, these are work perks, por ejemplo, otros tienen life insurance, verdad, Yeah, life insurance. Uh, otros tienen private health insurance. Otros tienen incluso, um, we could say a flexible schedule. Okay, that's another. Flexible. Seguro de vida. Okay, it's life insurance. Mm -hmm. Life insurance es seguro de vida. Muy bien. Viáticos de viaje. Uh, ¿Cómo es el otro? Viáticos para viaje. Ok, yeah. So that's our, those are, uh, let me remember. Let me remember. Porque tienen un nombre específico, así como lo queremos. Porque podría ser para nosotros, like, um, uh, like an extra, right? But that's, 
for uh, example, pairing, pairing, yeah, uh, uh, transport fees, yes, fee, uh, this, this word, fee, fee, que ven acá, esta palabra es como una tarifa, ok, como un monto, fee, tarifa, entonces, si usted se lo pone a, o, a cualquier otra cosa, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, transport, Uh, fee, estamos diciendo una tarifa para el transporte o un dinero que es para ese fin, ok, pero déjenme buscarlo tal como viático, ok, and let's see, well, here it says viatic, it doesn't say, right, but it is like, yeah, viatic, 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 ok, so it is va Biotic, it says, biotic fee or biotic. Biotics, right? Here we are. Yes. For example, capacitation or virtual? Training, right? Training. Uh-huh. Training for work, yeah. Sometimes it is paid. A training is paid, but sometimes it isn't. They just give you the time to go and do it, right? But they don't pay for it. So you have to pay, but they give you the permission to go. So yes, training, it's a work perk too. Okay, guys, these are work perks and now we understand what, what work perks are. So we're going to go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have this conversation, this conversation I told you about. And also we have a letter, okay? And also we have a letter. Let me go over there and let me show you the letter. It's a welcoming letter where this uh, new employee is informed about the work perks and also about the, okay, one moment. Tengo que tratar con mucho amor y mucho cuidado estos clics, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, ahí le están explicando, they are explaining the work perks that she is going to receive from the company. Okay, so let's let's read it. I think it is in page 16, if I'm not wrong. That's an open way. Again. There we are. It's coming up, it's coming up. There it is. Ah, uh, okay. Oops, oops, oops. Yes, it was in page 15. Everybody, please, let's go to page 15 in your manuals. And we're going to read first this welcoming letter. Es una carta de bienvenida from a company. And they are explaining, están explicando, the work perks, the job benefits, okay? for this new employee, okay? So let's see. Let me share this for those who can have this open together. Let's see. There we go. And Dominique is the new employee in Traverse Incorporated. Okay, if you see here, it says Travers Incorporated, and it says for a better future. Dear employee, 
Welcome to Travers Incorporated. Congratulations. You are now part of the Travers or Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Full name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, junior sales manager. Key job duties. Let's read. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. And there we have the perks. Vacations, two weeks per year, plus the public holidays. The salary is $440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CFO. Okay, now, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this letter? Does anybody have a question? No, teacher. Okay. So in this case, we are going to answer some comprehension questions right here. And it says, number one, Dominique speaks to clients in her new job. Is it true or is it false? Let's read it again. Key job duties. Veamos cuáles son las responsabilidades que ella tiene en su nuevo trabajo. ¿Será que hablarle a los clientes en su nuevo trabajo es una responsabilidad? Yes. True. Okay, let's write here. True. There we go. Here we go. True. There we are. Her salary is $100 per week. Is it true or is it false? How much is the salary? How much is the salary? $140. Okay. $140. Great. $440. Okay. $440 per month plus bonus. Okay. Now let's read number three. Dominique gets a yearly vacation. Is that true or is that false? It's false. Is it false? Oh. Why? Because it's true for me. Okay, why is it true? Because say it's two weeks per year. Okay, yes. When we holidays. say per year, it means once a year or yearly, right? Yearly. Yeah. Entonces, sí, it's true. Yes, it is true. Okay. Why? Because it says two weeks per year. Okay. Now let's see number four. She has to work on holidays. Is it true or is this false? She has to work on holidays? False. false. Okay, great. Why is it false? Why is this false? Vacation mm -hmm. is two weeks for per years and for holidays. 
Okay, plus the public holidays. Okay, good. So we see that Dominic speaks to clients and her salary is not $100 per week. And Dominique gets a yearly vacation. Also, she uh, doesn't have to work on holidays, okay? She doesn't have to work on holidays. A ver, vamos a escribir tal como yo las dije para que visualicemos las negativas y las positivas, okay? So, Dominique speaks to clients in her job, new job. Okay, the second, her salary isn't or is not, okay, mm -hmm. isn't $100, right? Uh, per week. Hey, you see this? I forgot this point because if it is per week, yeah, of course not, right? So next one, number three, it says Domini gets a yearly vacation. Yeah, so it is a positive, right? Dominique gets a yearly vacation, okay? And then she doesn't have to work on holidays. Ok, identifiquemos. Esta es una afirmativa y como es tercera persona le ponemos la letra S al verbo, ¿verdad? Esta es negativa, pero estamos usando el verbo to be. Ya sabemos que en tercera persona es isn't or is not, ¿correct? Esta es positiva o afirmativa, por lo tanto solo agregamos una letra S al verbo, ¿verdad? Y la última, estamos diciendo que ella no debe trabajar, ¿verdad? Entonces, le ponemos tercera persona en negativo. Esta doesn't es does not y nos indica no, ¿ok? Esta es la negativa. She doesn't have to work on holidays. Ok, vamos a ir a la siguiente página. Let's go to the next page. There we have a conversation. Okay, so we are talking about financial information and work perks, okay? Here we are gonna say, for example, how many days do you work, okay? Let's start with the uh, conversation. Ben and Jeff. Aquí nos aparece un Mario, pero este Mario eh, salió ahí por, porque andaba de pasada, pero no debía entrar en la conversación, ¿verdad? Okay. Vamos a ver. It says. Ben and Jeff. Okay. It says, Jeff, how were you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays. And sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do, you, do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. 
Vamos a ver. Me voy, voy a dejar de compartir esta. Y a ver, ahora ustedes cuéntenme de qué se trataba la plática. A ver, want to hear you guys. Let's see. Marco. Ok, Linda, go ahead. I'm sorry, Marco. De los días que trabajaba la semana y que ganaba horas extras por trabajar sábado. Ok, ok. Let's try to say that in English. Let's try to say that in English. Ajá. Uh -huh. He works. He works. Five eh, days a week, four days a week. Ajá. Eh, uh -huh. Four. Four weeks a day. Uh, four days a week. Okay. Four days a week. Ok, vaya. ahora voy a ir y compartirles un slide para que identifiquemos las cosas importantes de la conversación, ok? Solo déjenme llegar ahí. Vamos a ver. Esperemos que no vaya a trabar esto. Ok, here we go. One moment. Sí, se va a trabar, permítanme. Pero ahorita, ahorita va, ahorita va. Esto no me va a ganar. Vamos a ver. Oops. Okay, here we go. And here we go. Here we go. And okay. Ok, hoy sí. Ahí está. There it is. Es que cuando se abren muchas ventanas, bueno, todos sabemos eso, ¿verdad? Se abren muchas ventanas, ahí se traba todo esto. Entonces tengo que estar abriendo y cerrando algunas. Vamos a ver. Ok. The two... More important things here are days a week. Esa es una frase para decir días a la semana. Okay? Days a week. Days a week. And we have the other extra hours. Hay lugares donde no es un beneficio, ¿verdad? Le toca trabajar hasta el final del día y por el mismo salario, right? So, por eso se considera un work perk. Por eso se considera un beneficio. It shouldn't be like that. No debiera ser así, ¿verdad? Legalmente, they have to pay extra hours. But, well, it's, you know, they choose. They choose if they can or, or if they cannot. But usually is if they want or if they don't want, right? <laughs> so, let's see. Extra hours are hours that we work after the business hours, okay? Son horas que trabajamos después de nuestro horario normal, extra hours, right? Days a week, días a la semana, okay? For example, si yo dijera one week a month, one week a month, estoy diciendo una semana al mes, okay? ¿Qué es lo que hay que fijarnos en esa expresión? Ok, one week a month. ¿Podrían escuchar o, o ustedes decir in a month? Ok. Days in a week. Ok. Podría escucharse, pero lo más común y más correcto sería days a week como simplificada la expresión, ¿verdad? Correcto. Both are okay. Si dijéramos days in a week, okay. But it's better. And the one that they are using here is days a week. Días a la semana. 
Este sería en el mes, en la semana, si le pusiera in a week. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Ok, vamos a leerla nuevamente. Vamos a leerla nuevamente. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a pedirle a, sería, a ver a quién, al que aparezca primero cuando le doy clic aquí, Eva, ok, Eva y a Delmi, you are both together, that, that is why, ok, so Eva and Delmi, Eva, Ben, Delmi, Jeff, ok, go ahead. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five, five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours and how much money? Do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours in around ten dollars. I see. Well, something there is not much time, right? Abs absolutely. Okay. So if you see how many days a week does Ben work? How many days a week does Ben work? Mm -hmm. Ben works four days a week and sometimes on Saturdays. Okay, good. Days a week. It means, aparte de que son days a week, si ustedes se fijan, él está diciendo weekdays. ¿Sí? Yes? Which one are the weekdays? ¿Cuáles son los días de semana? Weekdays. Monday. Ok. Tuesday. Ok. Wednesday. Uh -huh. Thursday. Uh -huh. And Friday. Ok, great. These are the weekdays. And what are the weekend days? Saturday. Okay. And Sunday. Okay, good. That is why he says four weekdays and sometimes he adds one weekend day. Which one is it? Saturdays, okay? It works sometimes on Saturdays. You see? Weekdays, días de la semana o um, días uh, en la semana, ¿verdad? Right? Y tenemos los días de fin de semana. ¿Ok? Días de semana, I'm sorry. <laughs> ok, there we are. So, weekdays and weekend days, but that will be only weekend, right? Only the weekend, it's compound by Saturday and Sunday, or Sunday, right? Here we go. Ya vimos varias cosas en esta conversación, right? Ahora, le pregunta, how much money do they pay for each extra hour? For each extra hour, por cada, how much money do they pay for each extra hour? $10. Okay. And it says 
around ten dollars. Okay? Around ten dollars. Yes, $10. it means that maybe ten and cents, right? Yes. It says around ten dollars. He's not sure or something like that. Yes, or maybe it's not ten exact. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, not exact. ten exact. Maybe ten and a fraction, right? Maybe yeah, 10, yeah, 50, yeah. 10, 25, 10, 13, whatever. It's around 10, maybe it's 11, right? We really, yeah, yeah he's just rounding, rounding. Okay. Solo está redondeando, ¿verdad? El valor de yeah. cada hora extra. Y esta es la manera okay. que nosotros podemos decir también cuando no estamos seguros, okay? Podemos decir around, around $10. Okay. It's like it's 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 the same to to uh, to give the hours the time. Yes. Yes. Right. Correct. Yes. You're just rounding the time. Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. Then this is around ten dollars. Now it is nine and thirty-four. Okay. Let me stop sharing this, and we are going to the manuals. In our manuals, we have some exercises to do. So you are going to practice the conversation, yeah, and also let me let me go to the manual here. Okay, we are in page 16, yeah? And we have a little figure it out, okay? Tenemos una actividad cortita, yeah? De figure it out, de piénselo, okay? Encuentre, piénselo, right? Entonces, ustedes van a circle the word that best completes the question. Okay, I'm going to share this for you for you to see what I'm referring to. So this, this is the third activity and it says, figure it out, figure it out, okay? Esto es lo que van a hacer después de practicar esta, esta conversación. Ahora, vamos a improvisar, okay? You are going to think, no van a ir a escribir, Ok, no van a ir a crear una conversación así escrita word by word, no. Vamos a utilizar este mismo vocabulario. Primero, la, la idea es esta, ok. Primero, practicarla tal como está. Después, lo vamos a hacer con nuestra propia información, basándonos en este mismo orden que lleva esta conversación, ok. ¿Se entiende? Va a ser su propia información la que van a compartir. ¿Ok? Voy a dejar de compartir. I'm going to stop sharing. This is the, six, the page 16. So everybody can go to the manual. Y voy a crear los grupos para que vayamos y practicamos. ¿Se entendió? Okay. Sí. Yes, teacher. Ok. Vaya, miren, yo siempre pregunto hasta cinco veces si se comprendió lo que van a ir a hacer al, al breakout room para que ustedes cuando lleguen allá no, no pierdan tiempo en ubicarse en lo que iban a hacer y el otro a veces no ha comprendido. ¿Se han fijado qué les ha pasado? ¿Verdad qué les ha pasado? ¿Qué, ¿Y qué dijo que íbamos sí. a hacer? ¿Entendió? ¿Entendió usted? No, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí entendamos lo que vamos a hacer para que cuando lleguen, lleguen con todo, patada al pecho, ¿verdad? A empezar Exacto. y no detenerse, ¿ok? ¿ok? Para que no les cueste, porque si no después no completan y les hace falta tiempo, entonces mejor así. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Sí. Sí, ok. Yes, yes. Vamos a ver, ¿se comprendió lo que vamos a hacer? Voy a repetir. Primero, practicar la conversación tal y como está en la página 16 de su libro, ¿verdad? Luego sí. van a contestar el figure it out basado en esa conversación y luego ustedes van a sustituir con su propia información siguiendo el mismo orden, ¿ok? okay. ¿Correcto? Sí. 
Bien, ahorita vamos con los grupos. Ustedes reciben la invitation. There we go. Luz recibió la invitación. Did you receive the invitation to join the sala four, the room four? Luz, are you there? Pablo Alberto, did you receive the invitation? No. Okay, I sent an invitation and I see that you are in room, mire si ahí abajo en donde está el menú le está haciendo flash algo o si algo está en rojo por, para que presione ahí porque usted va para la sala 6 there you are That's great. I work for weekday and sometimes on Saturday. Very on the Saturday. Saturday. Do you go ex, extra house? And how much money do they pay for each each extra hours? Hour. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. And uh, with something uh, there is not much time, right? Absolutely. <risa> a mí me cuesta eh, hora, <risa> lo pronunciamos bien extra, extra horas ok, extra, extra hours hour. uh -huh. extra es, es igual yes, solo ah. lo que va a enrollar es la lengua para la letra L la extra, extra hour extra hours ah. and when it is plural extra hours Extra okay. hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's my turn. Go ahead, Mario. I'm sorry, David. <laughs> okay, we who we with um ¿Ya practicar usted ahora, David? Yes. Okay. Pero voy a necesitar una compañera. ¿Quién me va a ayudar? <risa> una y una con, con, con Alba para que <risa> las dos participen. Ok, okay bueno. ahorita soy Ben. Va, es ahí. Yes. Yo empiezo Alba y después usted sigue en la otra. Ok. Ok. Ok, let's start. Mm -hmm. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, um, Wait, uh, we I go five days I with and do. That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really, on Saturday, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? 
Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around ten dollars. I see we sometimes sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolute. Okay. Eh, la palabra <laughs> esa donde está es extra hours. Each, así se dice. Each, 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 each extra hour. Uh, yes, eso significa cada. Each, each cada. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, and sometimes, no sé si pronuncie bien la palabra. Yes, sometimes. 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 Mm -hmm. ah, yes. Okay. Eh, luego creo que tendríamos Practice que hacerlo our information sustituir por nuestra información okay. so, yeah. mm. Okay, people, I'm going to another group. Continue working, okay? If you have any question, just call me. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, teacher. Hello, Juan Diego, what happened? Hello, teacher. I have some problem with my internet, so I love my connection. Okay, you got disconnected. But what I see, you were in room six, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know what to do over here. Let's see. It doesn't show. Ok, no le, no le dé clic a la primera, vamos a hacer así, y a la segunda sí le va a dar, ok. There we go. Ok, now yes, it is. Hey teacher. Uh -huh. Sorry teacher, I you how get... do you say se fue el internet? Okay, well I got disconnected, but also um the internet ran out. Ah, the internet ran out and yeah. come back. <laughs> okay, so you got connected again. Just let me okay. see something because I cannot move you from here directly. So well, let me see. Mm -hmm. Marco, what room were you at? ¿Ya había eh, entrado a, un, a una sala? No. No? Okay. No. Okay, okay. Ahorita iba de sala en sala, solo. Quiero ver. Lo voy a asignar en la sala cuatro, ¿ok? Room four. There you are. Thanks, teacher. Ok, go ahead. So I see. I cuando le pregunta de how much time do we have? Uh, prácticamente en 
se están de I see will something there is not much time right <laughs> mm -hmm. ya no tiene mucho tiempo es corto uh -huh. y que más vamos a hacer la practicar el diálogo con lo nuestro es decir, en vez de Ben, Grecia, en vez de Chef, Marily. Si quiere, inicie como iniciamos con lo anterior. Pero, ¿estás haciendo un warm car? ¿Cuántos días de vida? En el primero sería lo mismo. Ah, solo me va a cambiar el nombre. Quiero ver. Marini le gusta. Uh -huh. Marini, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days how do you work? Uh, hey, Grecia, will I work um, five days a week? And you? There's a hour. A war. Six days, six week day, and um, sometimes. Um, solo los Sunday. Okay, Gracias. So, it, um, hello, girls. Here I am. Hola. <laughs> okay. Uh, you were saying that you work six days a week. So, you work from Monday through Saturday. Do you work on Saturdays, Grecia? Mm hmm Okay, then yes, and you said also sometimes on Sundays. Solo domingo. Uh, on Sundays you rest or you work? Mm. Descanso o trabaja el domingo? Domingo descanso. Okay, good. So Sábado I... siempre los trabajo. Oh, and a full time or part time of Saturday? Part time mm, or full time? Full, depende. Pero uh, normalmente full. In a regular schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how many hours do you work a day? ¿Cuántas horas trabaja al día? Yes. How many hours do you work a day? Ten. I work. I work. Ten hours a day. Ten. Oh my God, it's really demanding your, your job. Okay, great, great. Uh, how about you, Marilyn? Hello. How about, I mean, what about you? I mean, how many hours a day do you work? I work um, eight hours. Okay, eight hours. Okay, guys, girls, uh, go ahead. Go ahead oh, with the conversation. I was just trying to understand what Gracia was saying about her schedule, okay? You are doing a good job. You are doing a good job. Go ahead, continue. Okay. Y vamos por... That's great here. That's really? great. Okay. Um, uh, me va a preguntar si hago horas extras. Oh, pero voy yo. Really? Uh, on Saturdays, do you work extra hours?
Um, how much money do you pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra extra hard when there is a uh, much work I extra hard is around. Mm. Un aproximado podría decir. Well, mm. dollar. Around, right? Around twelve dollars because it's not exact. Porque no es exacto, ¿verdad? You may say around, Grecia. Around. Yes, around, around. $12. I see, well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Well. Okay, girls, now switch. Okay. I'm going to another room, okay? You are doing a good job, okay? okay. Thank you. Hello, Juan Diego, you're out, okay? You are, I'm sorry, you're out again. I'm so sorry. But did you finish? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Could you finish with your classmate? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Were you working with Pablo? Estaba trabajando con Pablo. Hola. No, no. No. I, I have. Um, you got disconnected again. I disconnected. Okay, but now we are going to call them all, okay? Don't worry, just stay here. We are going to stop all the sessions. Okay, here we go. Okay, good. Okay. ¿Con quién estaba trabajando eh, Juan Diego? Okay, okay. Bye. Aunque hayamos tenido falla de conexión, vamos a hacer un poquito el. Si sí, varios tuvieron eh, desconexión, no solo Juan Diego, hubieron varios que los sacó el sistema. I don't know why. Maybe the internet is not working well. Maybe the companies, I don't know. Right. Pero vamos a, nosotros queremos escuchar, ¿verdad? Queremos escuchar el progreso. Yes. So, we want to listen to Grecia and Marilyn because I stayed with, their, with them just the last minute. Okay. So, they are going to be first. A ver, Marilyn y Grecia. Please role play the conversation. Well, in this case, you have to substitute with your own information. Pónganle su propia información and we want to listen. No se preocupen, vamos a ir corrigiendo y ayudando, okay? Entre todos, okay? So let's see. Let's listen to Marilyn and Grecia. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, inicia Grecia. Inicia video, pero. Um, Marilyn. 
How are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Okay. Hey, Gracia. Um, Will, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work this week day. Okay. And sometime oh. on Sunday. Mm, really? On Sunday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you do, do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work. To About do hey extra hold is around no ten, eleven dollar. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolute. Okay, great, great, great. So let's do something okay we are going to add some because oh i see that it is time already but just let me check how long this okay do you mind if i take just one more minute to show this only one more minute vamos a hacer okay las oraciones negativas que ella haya dicho dijo alguna oración negativa ¿Le pusieron atención a Grecia y a Marilyn? Ajá. Does she work? Um, she, she said six uh, weekdays. Well, days a week. Okay. Does she work six days a week? En todo caso, ¿cómo responderíamos esta pregunta? Según lo que ella dijo. No es negativa la respuesta, es positiva. Yes. Yes, she does. She does. Okay, great. Yes, she does. Okay. Does she work on Sundays? Ajá, si fuera de acuerdo a lo que ella dijo, ¿ella trabaja los domingos? Does she no. work on Sundays? No, she isn't. Yes, yes, yes she, she doesn't. Uh, again, yes. Yes, she does. She does. Ok, <clears throat> pero según su horario, she said she doesn't, right? So let's say. No, yes. she doesn't. Okay. Si, según su horario, no. Okay. Porque se lo pagan como extra, right? No, she doesn't. Pero ella dijo, yes, sometimes, right? She does. Okay. okay, este sometimes nos dice que no todos los domingos, right? Si decimos she doesn't, es que definitivamente ningún domingo trabaja. And if she has to go to work, then she receives extra hour paid, okay? And how much did she say that um, her company pays the extra hour? How much is the extra hour? Mm, let's say how much, lo vamos a hacer exactamente como está en la conversación. Do they pay every extra hour? And she said, what was her answer? ¿Cómo fue su respuesta? Do you remember? 11. Okay, but not exact. 
cuando no es exacto, we say? Around. Yes. Around. around. Ok. There you are. Entonces, les va a quedar dos cosas para que piensen durante el día de mañana. Ok. Around $11. Dollars. Dos cosas. Vamos a hacer tres oraciones negativas. Ok. A partir de esta información que nos dio Grecia. Ok. Que nos dio Grecia. Vamos a hacer la primera. Aquí. Ok. Podemos decir. She doesn't, miren, el does not, ok. She doesn't work for mm, days a week. Or for, yeah, for days a week. Y ya está una oración negativa. ¿Vemos? Correcto. Basado en esta información que ella nos dio, vamos a hacer la siguiente y la siguiente inventamos una oración negativa, ¿ok? En su pensamiento, ¿ok? Y mañana pues lo decimos acá. Ahora, la segunda cosa, voy a dejarte compartir. I'm going to stop sharing. The second thing is that I posted a discussion. I, ahí les, les puse una pregunta en la, en la plataforma. ¿Se recuerdan cómo entramos? Donde dice discusión, ustedes ponen all topics y ahí les va a aparecer una pregunta. En realidad son dos, ¿verdad? Pero es para que ustedes no me vayan a decir, oh, yes, I do, or no, I don't. No, queremos que usen su vocabulario, ¿ok? Ustedes me explican ahí sus work perks, ¿ok? You are going to talk about your own work perks. ¿Por qué puse las dos preguntas? Porque probablemente las work perks son para todos, pero hay algunas work perks que son para cierto grupo. ¿Ok? Probablemente usted no las recibe o probablemente usted sí las recibe. ¿Ok? Entonces eso es lo que van a platicar ahí en la discussion. And that's it. ¿Ok? Hemos cubierto, gracias a Dios, el contenido para este día. ¿Right? And... Y les agradezco mucho el tiempo que me dieron con lo de mi máquina. Ahora el turno era para Debbie, ¿verdad? Pero Debbie no se conectó. ¿Hay alguien que quiera ese turno, ese espacio para hacer pregunta? Que se quiera quedar ahorita después de la clase. Only one, please. Only one. Hey, come on. No, no. I cannot do everyone. I'm sorry. Hey. Only one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you staying, Nestor? Yes. Correct. Okay. Nestor stays with us, uh, with me. Okay. And let us meet tomorrow. Please do your homework and have a good rest. Good night. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, bye bye, teacher. Good bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Okay, Nestor, here we are. Okay. Do you have any question about the uh, content or the topics? Okay, I just want to practice. Uh, okay. Um, because I want to, um, right now I'm at the university, so I need to uh, improve uh, influence. Okay. To speak uh, more fast. What career are you studying? Uh, um, licenciatura in English. Oh, great, great. That yeah. is why you are really um, into this. Okay, yeah. great, yeah. great. So uh, what, um, well, in this case, how can I help you in this, in this space to practice? What do you want to practice exactly? Okay. Uh, me gustaría, I would like to practice using, uh, making a sen different sentences with different tense, present, past, uh, 
but I know that it is in the, the, the topic. Okay, okay. Well, uh, uh, let's see. Let me share the screen with you, okay? Let me share okay. the screen in the board, okay? Here we have the board. At the moment, okay, at the moment we have seen only the present tense because the level where we are, okay? We are yeah, in the yes, second yes. Okay, module. Okay, no yes, okay, uh, we are in the present tense. Now, you know the basics, right? The basics of present tense. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, do you want to give me an example using the present tense with activities that you do daily? That I do daily? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh. <clears throat> okay, uh, we have uh, uh, two kind of verbs. Okay. Irregulars and regulars, right? Yes, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, and when I make two when I make a sentence using the auxiliary uh, do and does, uh, the the verbs after the, the auxiliary, it doesn't doesn't change, right? Okay. For Correct. Example, mm -hmm. uh, so let's think about the activities that you mm, usually do daily. For example, uh, when you go to university, you say I study okay i study at university yeah okay. yes okay now we have they um the verb study this is an irregular verb this is an ir irregular verb why because it okay. ends in a letter y and it's in companion of a, a consonant that it is letter d okay, okay. So if I want to pass it to the past tense, then I study it at university, right? Okay. Ese sería el pasado, okay? Pero mm -hmm. si estoy planeando ir, okay? I will study at university someday, right? But I'm okay. planning yeah. doing it, okay? Esto sería como por lo que me pidió, ¿ok? Por lo Ajá, que me pidió yeah. de estudiar así en, eh, perdón, de um, practicar. Diferentes tiempos. Ok, diferentes tiempos. Yes. And I'm just showing the basics, the basics here. Ok. okay. Poco a poco en el módulo vamos a ir desarrollando eso. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, sí. en el módulo 2 lo que vemos es El presente, tanto en las preguntas, en la forma negativa, la forma positiva. And we okay. also study um, the information questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Las preguntas de información también mm -hmm. las vemos acá. Entonces, siempre, siempre debemos recordar que una oración está compuesta as in Spanish. Okay. With the subject. Mm -hmm. with a verb and with a complement. Okay. okay. Yes. Esa sería como la forma básica gramatical de una oración. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cuando decimos verb, ahí van las conjugaciones que usted quiere saber. Okay. Ahí van las conjugaciones que usted quiere saber. Yeah. So, um, Las conjugaciones al verbo, pas, uh, perdón, al tiempo pasado, nosotros las vamos a empezar a ver, sí, quizás como en la unidad 3. De este, de este módulo. De este módulo, sí, creo que ahí nos toca. 
ahorita estoy un poco como hay varios niveles, permítame. Uh, <coughs> Ok, todavía el módulo 2 va el casi al puro presente. Ok, aquí estamos viendo los nombres contables o inc e incontables. A ver, déjenme ver en la... Aquí vamos a empezar, ajá, en la, hasta en la unidad 4 vamos a empezar a utilizar otros auxiliares. Ok, okay. sí vamos a ver el futuro de los verbos en la unidad 3. Futuro. Okay. Uh -huh. Futuro, pero utilizándolo con el presente, porque el presente tiene diferentes usos. Okay. Okay. Entonces, cuando usted quiera estudiar los tiempos, nos podemos ir también por eso, por los usos. When do we use the present tense? When. Okay. Vamos a ver aquí. A ver si se recuerda que era to express daily routines or activities that we usually do, right? That mm -hmm. we usually do. They are like a habit and things that never change. Okay. Things that never change. For example, in December, it doesn't rain. Ok, estamos algo que no cambia, aunque el, el clima ahora cambia, ¿verdad? Pero podríamos decirlo sí, así, sí. ¿verdad? O sea, podríamos sí, sí. decirlo así. Sí, eh, pero... <risas> ajá. If you click on, then it turns on. Ok, so never change. Es okay. como algo que siempre va a ser así, ¿ok? Things okay. that never change. Y también lo podemos utilizar para future. En algunos, eh, vamos a ver en esa unidad, en la unidad 3, cómo utilizar el futuro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que es para ongoing activities, ¿ok? Ongoing activities. ¿Sí? Ongoing activities, cosas que van sucediendo como en un en una línea de tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ok. O cosas que pasan y no dejan de pasar, o sea, suceden y no, de, no termina, no termina. Sí. Ok, that's like an, an ongoing activity. También tenemos eh, en este módulo, no vamos a ver el pasado según veo acá, hasta el tercer módulo. Sí. Yeah. Hasta el tercer módulo, permítame, quiero abrir acá porque no me deja abrir las dos cosas al mismo tiempo. No sé por qué, pero no me está dejando. Ok. Uh, para que se pueda ubicar en los tiempos que vamos a ver. Ahorita solo hemos visto presente. Ok. Sí. Y seguimos viendo presente. Pero para que se ubiquen en la página 6 y la página 7, tenemos un mapita de los uh -huh. contenidos. ¿Verdad? Sí. Entonces, ahí usted va a ver. Uh, des, uh, también para describir situaciones temporales que suceden en el trabajo. También lo vamos a ver. ¿Verdad? Okay. Eh, eh, vamos a ver un ING. ¿Verdad? Ah, el ING for... Ajá, un ING, pero no el, eh, no es el presente progresivo, ¿ok? Sino que son los ah. gerunds, gerunds. Sí, okay. lo, entonces es este, el statement o, o del verbo, este, que tiene el presente, pasado, pasado participio y el presente participio. Uh, no, 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 en este caso solo vamos a ver el ING. ING, ah, okay. pero como un gerundio, gerunds, okay. gerunds, ok, cuando nos referimos al nombre de la actividad, y ah, pues okay. al final, okay, okay. al final, como tema, como tema, eh, yes, something like that, like a noun, y luego Ajá. vamos a utilizar algunos, eh, eh, serían auxiliares como can, would, ok, para hacer, y yeah, modal verbs, 
to request things politely. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. To request politely. Eso es lo que contiene nuestro módulo 2. Okay. okay. Entonces. Estaba viendo, licenciada. Ajá. Que en las reglas, por ejemplo, de los verbos del, del presente simple, el verbo que termina en dos S, en dos uh -huh. S, una S, CH, SH, O, X, Z, se le uh -huh. agrega S. Yes, correct. Y si el verbo termina en una Y, uh -huh. se le agrega una I, 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 E, S. Correct. Correct. Y, pero uh -huh. estaba viendo que hay unos verbos que terminan en Y, pero que no se le agrega la I, S. Correcto. Y eso es. Vale, para que los diferencie, los vamos a poner aquí. Para sí, que, sí. Voy a Me poner imagino que debe haber un listado que, de verbos que, que, tal, que tal vez uno no, no, no tiene que agregar. Como excepciones. No, Ajá. en este caso no es de excepciones. Aquí lo que sucede oh. es la regla gramatical. La regla es que acá... O sea, que hay, hay un juego de vocal y, y Exactamente. Consonante. Exactamente. En ah, estos okay. que llevan que la sílaba está compuesta por la consonante, que sería, por ejemplo, study, aquí, ¿verdad? Es el Ajá. ejemplo que tenemos. Sí, sí. Hay una consonante que es la D, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Acompañado por el sonido vocal I, que en este caso es la Y, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces, si yo lo conjugo, perdón, vamos a seleccionar acá. Entonces, si yo lo conjugo acá, sería she. Studies, ok. Uh -huh. She studies at university. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. Ahora, en este no. En este, como es una vocal, es como un diptongo, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces, no necesitamos cambiarlo a vocal, sino uh -huh. que en este caso, just I pay for the product, for example. Uh -huh. okay. I well, pay, yeah, this is just an example as a complete sentence. Now, uh -huh. she pays. She pays. Solo agrego la letra S. Porque okay. la regla me dice que como va con una vocal, solo le agrego la S. Sí, yeah. si no tuviera una mala pronunciación, ¿verdad? Porque sería una, I, una vocal también. Yeah, like pay, yes, right? Uh -huh. Something like that. It doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It doesn't exist. That is why. Correct. So okay. she pays for. Igual que play. Play también. Es... Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have play. We have buy. Yeah. And, and things um, like those, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Are we okay till here? ¿Estamos bien hasta donde estamos? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Sí. 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 ¿Seguro, satisfecho o hay algo que le quede por ahí que quiera preguntar? No, eh, lo que pasa es que era de que pensé que el verbo que termine Y eh, hay que agregarle la IN y es, pero como ya hablamos de que es una vocal, entonces ahora me imagino que todos los verbos que me aparezcan así será una S. Exactly. Uh -huh. sí. Correct. Sí, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y, y el nuevo vocabulario está bueno el, porque es de, para el trabajo. Entonces, yes, of course. It's me money. Parece que, me parece muy bien. ¿verdad? Ok, ok. Y, hay bastante vocabulario que aprender en este Yes, we have to practice. Yes. Sí. Uh, por ejemplo, y la pronunciación de heredar, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Inherit. In inherit. Inherit. Uh -huh. Inherit. Inherit. Ah, oh, inherit. Uh -huh. Inherit. Inherit. Uh -huh. Waste. Uh, el is es like como uh, se llama esto insurance uh, life insurance uh, no. no it's like Medical social no it's like social security yeah ah social it's security. A social security yes 
Ok. Ok. Lo que es uh, feeding, es feeding subsidy. Yes. Subsidy. Yes, subsidy. Feeding, ¿Qué significa feeding? It is subsidy. Es, um, no, subsidy. Subside. Um, feeding. Alimentación. Feeding. ¿Cómo? Alimentación. Uh, feeding. Uh -huh. Feeding. And fun cooperative. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa eso? Uh, solo lo dejé así porque voy a investigarles correctamente cómo se dice la cooperativa social en este caso. Uh -huh. ah, es un fondo ya. cooperativo, digamos. Ah, ya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, uh, flexible schedule es horario flexible. ¿no? Yes, it uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. Um, viáticos, ¿cómo era en inglés? Ba It says viatics. Viatics. ¿Cómo se escribe? Like this, viatics. Solo le quita la O. Viatic. Yeah. Viatic. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, este, eso sería quizás, like, uh, eso sería. Ok. Y lo de, aquí estaba viendo que estas dos palabras se pueden decir, el, este, ambas. I work for, for five days a week, uh -huh. I work for weekdays. De las dos formas se puede decir, o es este, es que es, eh, como dijera, o diferentes gramáticas. Ok, o, uh, meanings, two different meanings. Ok. Ok. If we say five days a week, es cinco días a la semana, right? Uh -huh. No importa que en esos, en esos su day off vaya en weekends, right? O en weekdays. Okay, uh -huh. uh, if I say five days a week, es cinco días a la semana, no importa qué días, puede incluir domingo, right? Sí, sí, sí. Pero si yo digo five week days, estoy hablando from Monday through Friday. Ah, ok, yeah. okay. en este caso, la five days a week es literalmente cinco semanas, cinco días. La semana. Exactly. And it doesn't matter if it is a Sunday in this five days, right? Included. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. sí, sí. But in the other five weekdays, are they are only from uh, Monday through Friday. Friday. Uh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And hmm. the days that you rest are days off. Okay. Los días que usted descansa son days off. Day off. Yes. Okay, day off. Mm -hmm. Interesante el vocabulario. Sí. Eh, bills es billetes, Malik. Bill, yes, bill. Mm. ¿Cuál yes, era la... Yes. Sí, bill. yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh, pronunciación de remesas, ¿cómo era? Remittance, remittance. Remittance. Yes, remittance. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Remittance. remittance. Okay. Okay, creo que eso es la class. Okay. Let okay. me check. Here for you to Conforme las unidades, voy a, vamos a ir viendo los tiempos, así que ahí me voy a ir adaptando yo. Y, pues. Yes, and you may ask, you may ask, don't worry. No le digo que no es que no quiero que me pregunte, pero sería como un tema entero, ¿ok? Sí, sí, sí. sí, <laughs> sí uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, sí, yeah. Exacto. So, let me check this here. 
just for you to hear this thing. Okay. Remittance. Okay. Did you hear? Remittance. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. Remittance. Yes, remittance. Remittance. Mm -hmm. Remittance. Correct. Uh, Lick, y por Tell módulo, me. por módulo, es, es, un, es como un diploma por módulo o es que hay que terminar todo el, el curso? No, it's, uh, every module has a diploma. Ah, ok. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuántos módulos son? Ok, for the beginners are six, six modules. Six. Mm -hmm. six. And then we have the um, intermediate, six more modules. And then the advanced, right? Six uh -huh. more modules. So, 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 21 modules. Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Six, six, and six, 18. Uh, okay, yes, yes, 18, 18. Okay, yeah. 18. Okay, okay, Lick. Thank you okay. to help me. Okay, I'm pleased to do it. So uh, let us meet tomorrow then. Remember to do your homework and also type in the discussion something, okay? Any comments, okay. it's welcome. Okay, okay, then. Thank you, Lick. Have a thank good you. night and have a good rest. You too. Thank you. Night, night. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you.